Go Go Mama here from the kitchen. Yeah, that's right. My hair's a mess because I was down playing with the animals. And <clears throat> I am going to get off the beaten path here for just a minute. We harvested a pig last year. And I'm just now getting to render ring the lard. So I want to show you a little bit about the process that I do on rendering the lard, okay? It's been frozen. It's fine. Uh, this is the Primo lard. This is the lard that was in uh, the inside of the cavity where the ribs are behind the bacon. We're gonna render this down and I'm just gonna show you a little bit about the process. We're gonna render this down a little bit at a time. I've got my <clears throat> tops boiling. This just came out of my dishwasher. So it is sanitized, everything is all sanitized. We're gonna scoop a little bit at a time and see as it renders down, it makes oil. And that oil we're going to start putting into our, our jar. Okay guys, I also have some supper here. Ooh, it smells good. Guess what that is? pork from the freezer from doing our own pig guys doing our own pig who would have thought everything does not go, nothing nothing i'm sorry nothing goes to waste here okay guys so we're gonna start rendering this i'm gonna take a spoon see all my canned goods i shop in my basement guys this is what I do. Shopping in the basement is so much fun. I love shopping in my basement. So as this cooks down, this is um, gonna just, I'm just gonna take my ladle and I am going to ladle it out a little bit at a time. Ladle it, ladle it. And this is how I render lard. A lot of people render lard in their um, crock pots. I do not do that. I do it over the stove. It takes about, uh, I would say about an hour. Um, and then um, after the lard is done, you get these crispy pieces of snack pieces. And it's almost like um, little popcorn pieces. And it's so, so good, guys. So as this is rendering, you put it on low so it doesn't, so it, you know, it does not, you do not want it to burn. This is a, this is Primo stuff here. So we don't want it to burn. We just want it to cook right now. Okay guys, and I'm going to show you a little bit about the process and that's it. I know we're all cooped up and so this is what I decided to do today is render the lard and so that's going to take a little bit to render down guys okay guys i'm going to show you i forgot you need to use a strainer too <clears throat> so i put my spoon right in here get all that nice fat out and put it in my bowl. I might have to get my metal one out because this is really, really hot, guys. And then we just let it cook and cook and cook. Okay? All right. So we have almost fully rendered down. It's not quite there yet, but I wanted you all to see the difference. And out of that, we've got this beautiful lard. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm excited. So there you have it. Um, 
This I will let cool and put in the fridge for right now, but you can freeze it. You can leave it on the shelf if you're going to use it within the next couple months. You can do you can use it as butter. So, a lot of different things that you can use that for. This <clears throat> Since I didn't, didn't render it down all the way, I'm going to give to the chickens. They're going to love it. Nothing goes to waste here. Okay, guys? Toodles. If there's any questions or anything, you know, um, I'll leave a link to my email or you can um, comment below, you know, and show me how and you guys do it. Because I need lard for my goat soap. <clears throat> I use natural lard in my goat soap. Ah, hello. All right. That's it. I'm going to sign off here and subscribe, like, and hit that little bell. Bing. All right. See you soon. Bye.